So we know there are about 100 million global Prime subscribers. This is an increasingly par important part of Amazon's business because it's high margin and its services. It doesn't rely so much on the traditional retail sales. So if we look at what this whole Prime Day idea is about, this year it's a 48 hour event. In the past it's just been about 36 hours, 30 hours, so they're increasingly ramping up the length of time that these deals are available. Amazon says more than one million deals will be available throughout the next two days. Things like electronics, things like uh, you know, any, fr frankly, toys, any sort of product you can think of, you're going to be able to find deals on them. And that's one of the things that Amazon has been ramping up in the, in the ahead of this uh, next two days. It's now available in 18 countries. For comparison, about 100 million products were sold on Prime Day last year. Amazon does not release the sales figures as part of billions of dollars, but we have data from eMarketer, which suggests that this year's sales could exceed $5 billion. And you can see how these sales have progressed over the past few years. If you look at just the total numbers, we've seen doubling over the past four years, particularly in the international market. And that's something I want to highlight because you can see how Amazon is increasingly emphasize, inter, in, emphasizing international as part of its e-commerce sales business. We expect about $5 billion overall this year. Some analysts say it could be as high as $6 billion in sales. For comparison point, you want to note a little bit of how this compares to Amazon's biggest international rival, which is Alibaba. Singles Day sales, which is essentially the day that Alibaba invented that's very similar to this idea, $30 billion in sales. So a little bit of a ways to go there when it comes to Amazon's international competition. But still, you can see this has become an increasingly big day for Amazon and certainly analysts closely watching to see how this will play out when it comes to this company's outlook for the second half of the year, guys. Are we just being an advertisement? I mean, I, I say this when we celebrate a new Apple release or we have Singles Day in China and everyone gets so excited about Alibaba and what have you as well. Are we just being an advertisement by actually even doing this article for Amazon here as well? I'm just asking the question because International Business Channel celebrates people spending more money and putting more money on debt. It could be an alternative, obviously very derogatory headline. I think if you want to talk about the flip side to ensure that this isn't a, an advertisement for Amazon, we can talk about the strikes and the employee action that we've heard from Amazon's workers against this day. I mean, we've heard the, that uh, U.S. and German workers are planning to strike today. They don't like the conditions. Amazon has been under a huge amount of fire for this. I mean, Elizabeth, do you want to weigh in on that side of you know, what's going and on? This whole point here is that we know that there is an increasingly kind of negative tide against sentiment about this company, not just from some of the workers we've seen in the cases of the strikes, but from the regulators too. And so a lot of the questioning here is if Amazon does continue to gain more market share, whether it's in e-commerce, whether it's in subscription services like Prime, how's that ultimately going to play out in its position as a dominant player in this market? I will say so far, global retail, Amazon is not dominant. If you just look at everything outside of a, you know brick and mortar traditionally it doesn't have a dominant share but in e-commerce certainly we know it has that position at least in the u.s hi i'm joanna bersecci and thank you for watching you can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from cnbc international thank you for watching